Hey everyone, this is Andrew the Cuber, and this is video one of two on how to solve the 2x2. Two two. This video is going to be going over the pieces, the faces and colors, the names of each side, and the moves. Also, I do have to say that this video is dedicated to my good friend, Ed. So, first let's talk about the pieces. Each piece on this cube are corners. Unlike a 3x3, three three, which has edges and centers, if you take those away, it'll start to look really similar to a 2x2. Two two. So now with faces and colors, on a 2x2 two two cube, there are six faces in total. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Each of them has a specific opposite color. For example, opposite of white will be yellow. Opposite of green will be blue. And opposite of red will be orange. An easy way that I remember them, an easy way to remember them is just thinking that red and orange is kind of like fire and uh, blue and green are kind of like the ocean, like these deep uh, ocean colors. And white and yellow kind of remind me of like the sun and clouds, so. Okay, now let's talk about the names of the sides. Whatever side is actually facing you like this is referred to as the front side, but it can also be called F because F stands for the front side. Now with the right side, again, it doesn't matter how you hold it, whatever side is on the right is referred to as the right side, and it can also be called R, because R stands for the right side. Now we also have the upper side, which can be called U, because U stands for the upper side. Then we have the left side, this left side can be called L, because L is short for the left side. Then we have B for the back side. The, the back side can be called B because B stands for the back side. And lastly, we have D or the down side. It's facing down. This can be represented as D because D is short for the down side. So those are all of the faces. Now let's get on to the moves. When you're turning a specific side, you refer to it as its notation term. For example, R. So instead of saying the right side, you can just say R, because it's much simpler. Now you're probably wondering, which way do I turn? Is it like this? Is it like this? Or is it this? Well, there's different ways to recognize each of those. So if you just see the letter R, that would mean that you turn the right side clockwise, 190 degree rotation. So if you see R, you would do this move because you are turning the right side one time clockwise. Now, if you see something that looks like this, it is R with an apostrophe next to it, that is called R prime. And what that means is you turn the right side counterclockwise like this. And there's also one time. So if you see R prime, you do this move. Now, lastly, we have this R two. What that means is either clockwise or counterclockwise, you turn that face two times in a row. So if you see R2, you perform this movement. Because you turn it two times. Or you could also turn it counterclockwise. And that process goes around for every single face. For example, if I see U, it says U. You just do the upper side clockwise. U prime, then you do, then you rotate the U side counterclockwise. Now, lastly, let's talk about algorithms. When you put multiple moves together, that is referred to as an algorithm. 
Now for solving the two by two, there are multiple algorithms that you need to know at the end, but to get started, there's one simple algorithm that almost every cube uses. And that is R, U, R prime, U prime. So how you would execute this is very simple. You do R clockwise, U clockwise, R prime, R counterclockwise, and then U prime, U counterclockwise. And that is an algorithm. So that's it for this orientation video. Once you're really familiar with these basics, uh, make sure to go ahead and watch part two so you can finally solve the two by two Rubik's Cube. See you soon.